Hello and welcome back to my channel, Gifted Guzman. Today I'm going to do a book talk on the book Code Talkers by Joseph Buchak. I think that's how you say his name. I hope I didn't butcher your name because I love your book. Um, so this book, Code Talkers, is actually about the Navajo Indians who participated in World War II with the Marines. They actually created a code based on their native language that helped us to send messages so that our um, Marines and our Army and everyone would know where to coordinate their efforts in order to help us in World War II. So this story takes place with Ned, who is our main character. His name's not really Ned, um, but we follow him in the beginning when he has to leave his Navajo tribe and he has to go to white people's school and he's given a white person name. So he becomes Ned throughout the book and that's just kind of how we know him. And the thing about this that's really sad is we do see that, we do get to see how awful these tribes were treated and yet how much they still loved the United States and how much they tried and how much they wanted to be part of this country and they wanted to help because they believe in this country that was theirs first. So. This book really does break my heart, but it's actually beautiful as well because you get to see their strength and you get to see who they are as a people and some of their traditions. Now this is historical fiction because although it's historically accurate that there were Navajos and they were Marines and they were in World War II, Ned is not a real person. What the author did was he talked to many people, he did interviews, he read stories from people, and then he put those all, all together and made some of the characters in the book. Okay, so these people in the book aren't real and that's why it's historical fiction because the people are fictional, um, but the events are mostly real, okay? And the overall concept is historically accurate, okay? Let me read you a little something from the book so that you get in a little idea of what things were kind of like for Ned when he got into the Marines, okay? As boot camp went on, I actually found that what they expected us to do was pretty simple. There was a routine to every day. All I had to do was listen closely and follow orders. One purpose of boot camp is to take young men who are out of shape and make them physically fit. However, just as Johnny Manuelito had said, what most young men found challenging was easy for us Indians. A five mile hike in the sun carrying heavy packs was nothing much for a Navajo used to walking 20 miles to the trading post across a hot, dry landscape to carry a hundred pound bag of flour back home. Running, climbing, doing calisthenics were easy for me. It surprised me to see how hard these things were for the white recruits in the other platoons at boot camp. After a long run, they would fall down onto the ground and some would be sick. We Navajos would just stand and wait for the next thing we had to do. No matter what it was, whether it was the obstacle course or crawling under barbed wire while real bullets were fired over us, we Navajos were just about the best. So I love that part because it shows, you know, just how proud he is to be Navajo. And in the beginning of the book, we see how hard um, we tried to kind of take that pride away from them. And yet he still maintained that pride. So I love this about the book. Um, one of the connections I can make to this book is um, my grandfather was actually not a Marine, but he was um, a spy during the Vietnam War. And so I've heard some stories about like code talking and and what they had to do during the Vietnam War, which is different than World War II, but, but it made a connection to my grandfather who's no longer with us. Um, but I liked that about this book is, is, I think that's one of the reasons why I read historical fiction is because of some of the stories that my grandfather told me when I was younger and I, I connect to him in, in a way. I would recommend this book to any young adult, um, especially anybody in middle school. This is really written pretty much at a middle school level. But if you just want a great story and you just want to learn a little bit more about the Code Talkers, this is this is a really good way to, to begin your journey into looking into that information, okay? So again, we've got Code Talkers by Joseph Buchak. And um, I would definitely recommend reading it. It's a very good read, not very long, quick read. So um, I hope you pick up this book and I hope you enjoy reading because I sure do.